If you enjoy this program, please like and subscribe, which is incidentally the precise opposite of Christianity. In Christianity, we're born sinners. Our default baseline is the sin. The only way you're saved is through the cross, but your default is you're born drowning. To the Jew, this is insane. All right, caller, you're live on the air. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Um, Jonathan McCleary calling from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Jonathan, go right ahead, my friend. Welcome back. Go ahead. Okay, uh, shalom. And I have a question about Matthew chapter 8, verse 31. And it says, The demons begged him, if you're going to drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. And so I was reading through Torah and in Deuteronomy, chapter 32 verse 17 it says they would slaughter two demons without power gods whom they knew not newcomers recently arrived whom your ancestors did not dread and so my question is <clears throat> excuse me my question is if we know that satan isn't what the what christians make him out to be then i was kind of wondering what these demons are um who they are what they are this world, both physically and spiritually, always require a perfect balance at every point. In the physical world, you know that this world, the universe, sits on a knife's edge. If gravitational forces were adjusted even a, a slight amount, this, this universe could not exist. We live in a world where there's a, this perfect mixture of oxygen and nitrogen, just enough oxygen, what we need, not too much oxygen. Now, a lot of oxygen could be good, but you can, I mean, you can breathe 100% oxygen, right? But if the world were just loaded with oxygen, it would create a lot of problems. You wouldn't be able to put a fire out. So it's just right. Everything is right. Everything is perfect. Everything has to be worried. The spiritual world, too, has to be perfectly balanced. Because there is Kedusha in the world, listen carefully, and we must have free will. That's the whole point. Hashem gave us free will. It's a gift from God. It's not innate. It's not baked in. There are things that are innate. Our ability to speak is innate. Our bodies are are built with built with all kinds of the ability to fight off cancer. Every day, every one of us gets cancer, but we have mechanisms that fight off infection. An amazing thing that's going on because Hashem wants it to be complete free will. So free will means that there, it can't be two one way or the other way. If there is kedusha, if there's holiness, if there is sanctity in this world that we can apprehend and we do, something like 95% of the people who occupy our planet believe in a higher power. There must be something in the world to offset this has to be, because the soup has to be perfect, exactly perfect, or else spiritually we'll get sick. Everything has to be exactly perfect, so or otherwise spiritually we would lose our free will. So because there's Kedusha in the world, because there are sources of the holy in the world that we can encounter, we are aware of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, unless you live in England. <laughs> so there you brainwashed all day. If you're in an environment, there are environments which are so hostile to God that you could, but if you're not subject to that, so that's why there are metaphysical entities that are negative so that it saturates the world with free will. HaKadosh Baruch Hu created good, he created evil. See Isaiah 45, verse 7. So the reason there's a Satan and the reason there are, I don't, whatever demons are, these are forces that seduce us into sin. If they did not exist, 
we would have no free will. Our default baseline is that we want to do the will of Hashem, which is, incidentally, the precise opposite of Christianity. In Christianity, we're born sinners. Our default baseline is to sin. The only way you're saved is through the cross. But your default is you're born drowning. To the Jew, this is insane. You're really, you, we are born good. That's our innate feature. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu created us in His image. We have a neshama. <laughs> and good and bad is only the language of faith. The irreligious can't use They use words like that, but they're misappropriating them. So the reason why there must be, we'll call them demons. I don't, why don't I like the word? You know why I don't like the word? Because the word is associated with all these, you know, crazy religions and dualistic religions. It's not that at all. Because the dualistic religions uh, convey, and Christianity is very strong on this, that they're actually independent forces battling each other that are really independent, independent, that there's a free agency of the devil or demons. No. HaKoshber who created the world on a knife's edge, both physically and spiritually. Why? So we can survive. What's the point of living in a world that there is no Yetzahara, that there's no evil inclination, that there's no sudden, that there's no demon. We'll call, call whatever you want, that there are no negative forces. So then we would all just want to worship Hashem. We would have no reason to reject Him. It would be ridiculous. It would be as silly as you turn on the flame on your stove and you stick your hand inside. You have a boiling pot of water, you stick your hand inside. You could do it, but if you would do that, it means you're crazy. Right? There are people, Nebuch, who struggle because they injure themselves. And those people, Nebuch, need, tragically, need a lot of help. But it's a disorder. It's a disorder. So, therefore, demons exist for the purpose that there's free will. Because there's so much kedusha, there's so much holiness, so much sanctity. We can apprehend the presence of Hashem, and we're not nuts. The only thing is that Tyre is warning us, be careful, guide your desire to be intimate with the divine only in this way, not in that way. All these things are good. Just make sure it's your wife. Just make sure it's kosher. Make sure the, the money belongs to you. And it's all good. Raise it up to Hashem. So demons in the pagan world are just evil and malevolent. They have no redeeming feature. In Judaism, they're very important. It's a very big bracha. It's a big blessing that there are demons in the world. Baruch Hashem. Thank Hashem for all the demons in the world. Why? Because now we have free will. Now we can say, get away from me, you devil. <laughs> you could say that. You could talk that way. We, we, we could say that, get away from me, you Sahara. But in truth, it's all from Hashem. But it's there so that we have free will. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15 through 19. Look it up for yourself. Thank you for that exquisite question. If you enjoy this program, please like and subscribe. <laughs> יציר נברא ואת נעשה בחף צוקו אזי מלך, אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כפלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נועד